Another top story tonight. It's been more than two weeks since a Salem mother and her three year old son were last seen or heard from. Tonight, the man accused of killing them sits behind bars. Family and friends are still holding out hope the pair will be found alive, despite investigators saying there's a growing amount of evidence to point to their murders. Our Emily Burris joins us live at the Yamhill County Courthouse with more on where this investigation stands tonight. Emily? Good afternoon, Jennifer. Dan, yeah, we were here yesterday as Michael Wool first appeared on those charges of aggravated murder and kidnapping. And we also learned in new court documents that detectives think he may have lied to them. Cell phone and video surveillance evidence suggests that Wolf left work in the middle of an overnight shift earlier this month, traveling to Carissa Fretwell's apartment in Salem. All of this coming to light while investigators continue their search, gathering even more evidence in this case case and still searching for Carissa and Billy Fretwell. Now today we circled back by Carissa's apartment there. We saw uh, a few flowers, evidence markers, some uh, evidence of investigators there. Really the only small reminders now of where this investigation first began. Neighbors say it's been on everyone's mind over the last week or so and they're still wondering what exactly happened to Carissa and her son. If they're still alive, I don't know what kind of condition they would be in or, you know, it just, it's unfortunate all the way around. But my heart goes out to the families. The Yamhill County DA says there are still multiple agencies and search teams continuing to look for the two, but now they are being very tight lipped on exactly where this investigation is moving. We've been checking in with them every day, but investigators and trained volunteers say they are trying their best right now to keep some of their search areas away from the public eye. Now, Michael Wolf will be back in court here next Friday after some of the evidence they've gathered so far has gone before a grand jury. I spoke with the DA yesterday. He tells me that even though a lot of what they initially gathered and what they have right now is circumstantial evidence, he is still confident that investigators can prepare a very compelling case. Dan, Jennifer?